Hey guys, hi here from the Art Gear Guy. Thanks very much for joining me today. Um, this is going to be a very quick review, actually, and um, there's no artwork. Well, sorry, there's no speed drawn and there's no still images over on the Art Gear Guy that I'm going to be putting up of this. Now, Alex, obviously, explain all of that all the way through this review. So, <clears throat> I got these pencils quite a while ago, uh, probably about a year ago now. I hadn't got round to doing a review. Um, it was when I was buying like uh, the lo lots of different sets from AliExpress to review for you, and I seen this set, and I liked the way that they looked on the um, you know the, the the way the packaging was and all the rest. And I'm going to show you that in a second. I just thought it was quite they they looked quite unique. They weren't very expe expensive, so I wasn't expecting lots from them. But nevertheless, um, all the other sets that I had purchased off AliExpress uh, were were reasonably good, or some of them were really good. Uh, so I got this set with a view to um, reviewing it, and I've just had to stop the re like the, the process, my, my process halfway through it. So. Let's just get into taking a look at the, the pencils and, and all the rest of it. So they come in this this um, box here. Uh, the box itself slides open like this and the pencils are presented like top down. I'll have images coming up because it's difficult to show this in the way it is. But um, this is what I liked about them. I thought that was really quite unique. Uh, it was plain and simple, the packaging plain and simple. As you can see here at the top, it just says 160 colored pencils, coloring pencils for kids, students, and artists. That is ridiculous. I wouldn't give this, I wouldn't give these pencils to any of that group. I wouldn't give it to kids, I wouldn't give them to students, and I wouldn't give them to artists. Uh, it just says art track down at the bottom here, and then art and graphic here. Uh, on the back here, as well it just says high quality acid free pigments in bright colors uh unsurpassed light fastness it's things like this that really bother me uh about art products there is no way now i haven't actually found anything about light fastness but there is no way that these pencils have uh unsurpassed light fastness they have no light fastness full stop uh, soft, vibrant color lay down and uh, uh, three point mil sorry three three millimeter core, but I'll get into all that in a second. Um, what it, what I did like about this is down at the bottom here it has the company name, uh, every pencil stationery factory, the address which is obviously China, and uh, a service hotline. So not a lot of not a lot of manufacturers put especially these like um budget range pencils and chinese pencils a lot of them don't actually have specific details like this on the package so i thought when i first got them that that was a good sign but um when you slide out the the top of the box on the white plinth that the the pencils rest in you have uh, a color swatch here at the back now there's no pigment names but there is color numbers but the color numbers not all of them correspond to the the numbers that are on the pencils and let me get to showing you the the, the pencils now okay so the barrel is hexagonal the core is uh, the box is three mil but i on my little thing i get it around about 2.8 2.9 but you know we're we're about a mil out and the like i say the the barrel is he is hexagonal and i get it about six six 6.9 mil uh across uh the dimensions of it it's a very lightweight pencil so you can tell that it's cheap um that the the wood quality isn't that great uh along one side of the pencil here we just have it just says colored pencils uh then there's kind of like a logo i'm guessing uh, it's just a circle with a dot in the center and then 
after that the name of the uh, pencil which is art track uh, on the other side here we have it just says color and then there is a number here which as I just said the it's it's supposed to the number here is supposed to correspond to the number on the swatch that's actually on the packaging but not all of them do some of them do but not all of them this is the the swatch that I created now um, I, I done this swatch on Bristol vellum paper um, and I know the pigments look they look quite bright and vibrant on here but I could tell the, the core of the pencil is really hard and it takes quite a bit of work to get color out of it it's not like you can do a light layer and you're going to get a lot of coverage on it it's just not like that you you have to you have to work quite hard you've either got to apply lots and lots of layers of which this pencil doesn't adhere to or you have to uh, press down quite heavily which I had to do on this swatch but nevertheless when I finished the swatch I kind of thought right okay um, I still should be able to do some artwork but I thought given that this was Bristol vellum paper I thought maybe it's the paper so I used a mixed media paper for the artwork which obviously has a little bit more tooth and I, I just thought that uh, the extra tooth might help drag out a little bit more vibrancy from the colour and uh, it'll give me the ability to do a little bit more blending. So I chose an image, it was just three peppers, uh, a red, yellow, sorry, a red, green and orange pepper and I, start, I, I chose the colours that I needed and got to work. I, I got halfway through doing the first one which was this this is the image that I this is this is the image that I um started with. I got halfway through the red one and I was already kinda like it just wasn't a pleasant experience and I just wasn't enjoying myself and I, I thought to myself, you know, I'm actually I'm I'm wasting time here. I've got a lot of I've got a lot of other products that I want to get around to reviewing. I'm really not enjoying this. I've done lots of different tests with this pencil and I just can't get anything out of it. I've done it on a few different papers um, and um, it, it's just not giving me anything. So as you all know I don't use odorless mineral spirits either so I thought to myself for the for the purpose of this, I will use some odorless mineral spirits because maybe that's going to blend in the pigments that I already have down on the paper, and maybe it'll maybe it'll strengthen the color and it'll allow me to apply more layers, and then in which case I'll have more in depth um, with with the colors. But even that didn't. I mean, it 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 helped a little bit using the odorless mineral spirits, but not much. I mean, like on this pepper here, looking at it now, it doesn't look that bad. But there's a lot of different colours on there, including on the on the um, the right side of this pepper. As you're looking at it, there's actually black on here. So I put black down down at the bottom to give me uh, a darker to help me get a darker um, value, and then red on the top. And I just couldn't. It it just it just isn't doing it. I mean, if you look at this pepper now, you wouldn't believe that there are five or six different tones of red in this drawing. Um, the the darker tones just weren't cutting it at all. So getting kind of shadow and light and all the rest of it, it was just really super difficult. I got onto the green, and the out of all of the colours, the red and perhaps the orange... I, had I got round to doing the orange, maybe the orange would have been a little bit better. Maybe if I started the orange first, I'd have maybe got further on with the artwork. But I started on the greens, and the greens were terrible. But not only were the green the the green colours not that great, but 
all of the green pencils started like uh, when I was trying to sharpen, like the core would all start start falling out on me. So everything was just going against me with these pencils, and I was getting more and more frustrated. And I was I was really trying my best to deliver something. But then I thought to myself, you know what? The purpose of this review is when I do these reviews, the purpose of these reviews is not for me to make the product look good. It's for me to tell you what I think of the product, which is a totally different thing. And I think that you should stay away from this product. It's really inexpensive. Um, at the, I, th I think at the time when I bought them, I think I think it was about £28 for the 160 pencils. Might be less than that now. But um, just just don't go anywhere near them. I think they will frustrate you. Uh, you you can't layer very well on them. The, the, the darker tones, just as you can see here, just aren't dark enough. They, they don't give you that, that, that value that you need whenever you're doing artwork. Like I say, there's black down here. Along this side here of this um, of this uh, pepper, I I put a layer of black down first, and then went on top of it, and then went over it with odorless mineral spirits to make sure that all the colours kind of like blended in together. So really super difficult, and I just thought you know, I at at first I was just going to stop and and leave it at that and not do the review. Um, I thought it's probably going to be a waste of time for everybody. And then I thought, no, no, it's important that I get this review done. It's important that I tell you guys exactly my experience. And then it's up to you whether you make a decision as to whether you want to buy these pencils or not. And the reason why I um, thought I must put this review out is because they are quite inexpensive. And in this situation, in this in, in the time that we're all in at the minute... If somebody sees 160 coloured pencils for less than £30, which anybody would go for and think that's a really good deal, um, you, you, I, I could totally understand why people would go for that. But I would much rather that you go for a different set of pencils for that price uh, or wait and add wait and save up a little bit more maybe another extra 10 pound or 20 pound and get a really really good set of pencils that you're going to love and that is going to um allow you to enjoy your artwork using these was not an enjoyable experience it just wasn't and you know me guys um i do try to make you know there, there has been products I've reviewed over the years and if they didn't work on the first type of paper that I was using, I would try a different paper because that, that's normal, that's natural for pencils to just not work that well on certain papers. And so it's important to try them on different papers. I tried these pencils on sanded paper, but they that just cut them up and just there was nothing I just couldn't do anything with them on Santa paper sometimes with like on the the UART paper or the Clairefontaine uh, pastel matte paper because it's quite a coarse surface it can really really draw out the the pigment on the pencils but that's so that that's only the case that only happens if the pencils have pigment in the core in the first place if the pencils don't have a lot of pigment in the core then all it's going to do is eat up the core of the pencils and that's exactly what happened so th that just it, it just wasn't um, a good experience at all and so this is my review needless to say there is no speed drawn there's no artwork I really apologize for this but I have shown you the artwork that I did do and um, it's 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 not great I understand that but it is what it is um so in my opinion stay clear of these pencils whether you see them on amazon or whether you see them uh on aliexpress or anywhere else for that matter just um look for a different brand look for a different set maybe of a, a set where you can find a review of 
that that is positive with them. Um, I definitely did not have a positive experience with these pencils, and so this is my review of them. Um, I'm sorry about this, guys. I'm sorry it's a pretty negative, downbeat uh, review, but uh, there's no other way I can I can sell this to you. There's no other way I can put this across to you. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Um, I will have a new review up in the next couple of days. Hopefully, I can get started on the next uh, product that I have lined up for review. And hopefully, that will be a much better experience. And uh, I'll be able to bring it to you and show you, hopefully, as well, some artwork with the, the, the product as well. Thanks very much, guys. Bye.